guess where Annie Banani and I went. These are moms. Uh huh. From Annie, because you're Cause a wonderful mom. How fast can we get through this? That also came in a two pack. It's as cute as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Without her hands, try to eat it directly with her mouth. Over the phone. We lo oh no, we're going we're going for mama. Her newest thing is she knows that the gate is where we go. And now she crawls to us and it's so cute. Hi monkey. Come here, sugar muffin. Oh say hello. Say and hello everybody. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all are doing super super duper well. Where is it? Gotta go find it. Excuse the background noise, but guess where Annie Banani and I went the other day? You wanna tell them? Tell them we went to Target. We had a ladies' night out. More so like a ladies' mid afternoon, early afternoon out. But we went to Target. We needed to get baby sunscreen and we needed to get, I forget what we got. We looked around. We had fun. We looked at the toys. I think that was my official first outing with Out Jack doing the car see the baby carrier going inside a store and purchasing something. I think that was the very first time. And then today we went and got a Mother's Day card for Nana. Yeah, and we picked it out all by ourselves. And then we went right across to the grocery store. Yeah, and we got, what did we get? What chocolate chips and chocolate chunks so that we can home make sourdough chocolate chip cookies for Nana for Mother's Day. It's gonna be a homemade type of Mother's Day gift. This year we're gonna make sourdough cookies and sourdough loaves because she loves sourdough loaves. She's definitely going through some sort of teething situation right now because her cheeks are so rosy and she does not want to be put down. She wants to do whatever mama's doing and I totally understand because I want to do whatever you're doing. We're gonna have to excuse the background noise, <laughs> but speaking of toys, I just posted on my Instagram story that since Annie is about like six and a half-ish months old now, she seems to be getting a little bored of some of her toys because she's just growing so fast and like her motor skills are growing so fast and what seemed to be interesting literally just yesterday were contrast cards and now she's crawling around chasing after this bumblebee and it's crazy crazy, but I needed suggestions of toys that other babies around her age, like six to eight-ish months, so that maybe she can grow into some toys. I needed suggestions on what other people are obsessed with. But in these times, what is also so nice to know is that there are literally play kits that are designed for stage-based play from one of my all-time favorite brands, Love Every, and she has been loving her five to six month play kit. It's called the Sense play kit and it's so freaking adorable so thank you love every for sending me this play kit we already know that annie banani has been obsessed with every single play kit that she's gotten the love every play kits just take the guesswork out of what kind of toys she'll be interested in specifically for what developmental stage that she's already in they even come with a little map of the toys that they possibly might be into first and then what maybe to introduce along the way and last it's so fun because some of the toys she might not understand or might just not be quite there yet when we first open the box. Specifically the tissue box that this one came with. It was really fun to watch her over the weeks figure out how it works and then really get into independently being able to play with it. And then just yesterday we introduced the spinning rainbow and it's so cute whenever she hears the sound she smiles. Let's see if she'll do it right now actually. Any banana. Is that the funnest thing? But watching her grow with these toys in this kit has been, oh my gosh, as she literally runs towards. Do you want this, honey? Yeah, do you hear it? Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's so cool because just a few short weeks ago, she was not able to sit up and play with that on her own. And so it's really cool to just see how right these play kits get as far as their developmental stage goes. The play kits are a subscription. You can cancel it at any time, but it is nice that they come right when you need them. And we still, even to this day, love coupling the play kits with her play gym over there. We always start at the play gym. She still loves playing with the little bells and the things that hang on it. As I sip my coffee and we really warm up into playtime in the morning. So I will leave both the play kit and the play gym down below because <laughs> they are absolute staples in this house, aren't they baby? We are a love every family, there's no doubt about it. So thank you love every for these play kits. They're seriously such a staple. Monkey, do you want to show them your clothing haul? <laughs> that is her wine by the way, that very high-pitched little squeak is the new wine. It is a very small noise compared to what it could be. So, I'm very, very grateful for that. Let's show them what came in the mail for you. We'll fold them up after. We can make a mess. This is our house. I think that's it, girl. Go for it. Show them your clothes. So you and I, you and I together went shopping for Annie's nine month wardrobe, at least a good start of the basics. And we can always go from there. We got a three pack of these H&M ribbed bodysuits, long sleeve. The springtime here in Maine is still kind of chilly, isn't it? It's kind of chilly. But this is the first time I've officially shopped on H&M. I think I picked up one or two pieces before. Maybe they were thrifted, but I am really pleasantly surprised by the quality of what we got for the price we paid. There's that darker blush tone this oatmeal tone and a lighter blush tone. It came in a three pack. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you give mommy a heart attack now that you can sit down. It's terrifying. My honey bunnies. <laughs> We got this little romper. I think they're technically pajamas. They're so cute. Look at this little design they have on them. That also came in a two pack. This is the second one. <laughs> So freaking cute, I know, girl. We got also a two pack of footless type of pajamas and between these types of one pieces and these, we live in one pieces in this house. And then the second footless one piece is this print. So, so cute. Are you going to the door? You're gonna go tell on me to Dada? Like, Dada, she's not doing the things that I wanna do. The last thing from H&M is this. It's literally so cute. It's as cute as I thought it was gonna be. It has beach ball sunglasses, ice cream cones, and it's a little two-piece set. Comes with these shorts, and you can pull the little things to make them tighter. So stinking cutie. At Old Navy, we got this little number is the third time of me buying this. I got it in the next size up. I've gotten it on sale every single time, so I'm really happy with that. And then I picked up in the next size up another one of the Old Navy ribbed pajamas. They're nice and thin. I have pink in her current size, and it's still actually big for her. So the ribbed stuff is where it's at at Old Navy. You're making mommy nervous on the hardwood. We have only three more things, okay? And then we got a three pack of footy from Target. You want to hold them up? Just a purple one. Purple pink flowers. This pink purple stripes. They're fantastic. And that's what we got for your nine months. Do you love it? Do you love your nine month clothes? Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. It is the next day. It is Friday before our very first Mother's Day. You guys are about to be knocked over by any banana. Why is it that it's always mama's stuff that you really like? <laughs> and like not your toys. Do you want to tell them what we're doing right now? Say we are packing my stuff. Any been any stuff. I swear, every time we go up to Nana and Papa's house, there's just a new set of things that change. Like the last time we were up, she was not sleeping in her own room and now she's sleeping in her own room. And the last time we were up, she wasn't sitting and now she's sitting. So the things that we pack are just slightly different. Like we're gonna bring her Toki mat because
because she's a moving, grooving girl. That provides a safe little landing pad for her to <laughs> play on. So in this <laughs> packing haul, I'm gonna bring both of her sleep sacks. We usually only need one because even though these say don't put them in the dryer, one of you commented one time that you put it on just like a delicate dry cycle and it's fine. We tried it and it's good, but it's for those like middle of the nights. Like what if she messes on something in the middle of the night and we all need to go back to bed and we don't have a second one, you know? Like we can wash and dry one in a pretty good pinch, but a second one would be really nice. And that's her blanket, so we need two. When she was a newborn, we always made sure to bring this bulb sucker which was great for spit and this one which is specifically great for the nose however we haven't used them in so long but we feel weird going without them so they're still in the list the teething medicine I don't have that but it is a godsend sometimes she is just so uncomfortable and it works instantly just to take the edge off so we're gonna bring that how fast can we get through this? <laughs> nail trimmer. Did we pick that up or did we leave that in the nursery? We did. We're gonna bring the nail trimmer. All right, the pink fuzzy set. In the springtime, this has been so nice. It's this little pink Sherpa set from Old Navy and it's the perfect layering piece for the cooler springtime here in Maine for when we go outside, whether she wants to crawl around or she wants to be carried. Otherwise, we have a small little outfit. We've got this sweatshirt, which reminds me these sweatshirts these little cotton sweatshirts they're just like this they're literally cotton sweatshirts they're under ten dollars especially if you get a pack but those are H&M and we use them all the freaking time I think I bought these two I have a green one and this gray one before she was born and we use it constantly a little bodysuit and some pink um, little pants for just a little outfit four sleepers you never know we're going for two overnight so it's nice to have a little pack of those. We've got her little footy things that keep her feet warm if her feet are out. Sophie the giraffe for sure. And then I just have toys on the list and that's just like her favorite toys at the moment. <laughs> Yeah, we'll probably bring the piano from the piano mat. The tissue box, maybe. She really likes that from Love Every. My side table has been spotted. And then we need to bring the monitor and the toki mat. And that's about it. We're honing in on this girl's first nap of the day right now. So, honey, let's go find your teething stuff. Mm -hmm. And your nail trimmer. Because once you go down for a nap, mommy wants to pack up this stuff for you. Oh, did you just spit up on my bed? I will not grab your toys before we are done playing with them for the day. I promise you. Sir. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> what is all of this right now? Okay, so. Okay. I'm bringing through it. <clears throat> hydrant. Oh, okay, no, I mean just like, did they give you a bucket? Yeah, they gave me a bucket. Okay. So they got all the flowers. I said I was doing a great job. Good colors. You picked out all the colors? Yeah, I did. That's really sweet, baby. I picked out the types, too. Mm. These are mums. Okay. I'm gonna walk you through the bouquet. Okay, okay. I'm gonna keep the bouquet. Okay. Here. These are mums. Uh-huh. From Annie. Oh. Because you're a wonderful mum. I'm a mum. She's very sweet. I'll save the best for last. Okay, okay. These are hydrangeas. Because they're my favorite. They're your favorite. Yep. These are for me. Oh, thank you, You're my baby. baby. Oh, thank but you. But also, because you fill up my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you. And these are assorted greens. But they're also... Oh, these are the mums? Yep. And those are assorted greens. Yeah. Very nice. Can you guess why? Balance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy you guys. Mommy, you put so much thought into these flowers right now. I told Jack that for my first Mother's Day, he can't get me anything besides like flowers or a card because I already got my present. It was the mama sweatshirt, the like custom embroidered one with Annie's onesie on it. Since she only like opened up 10 slots per month, we like jumped on the first one and I was like, this is my Mother's Day present. So he went all out on his flower arrangement. <laughs> situation and they gave him a bucket yeah uh, do you want a bucket i was like yeah that's so nice so for my mom we're bringing up 
two full loaves of Jack sourdough bread. He puts his blood, sweat, and tears into this starter in the bread, so it's a very nice gift. Mostly just sweat. Just a lot of sweat in or there. My hands. <laughs> and then Jack also from his starter has started to make sourdough cookies. The dough is chilling in that thing right there, and they are so good. Like we've had them multiple they're, days in a row. Quite tasty. Gorgeous bouquet, Bubba. Oh, thank you. It's so sweet. So for my mom, we're bringing up the bread and we're gonna make the cookies. And Jack got her some flowers in there as well. Annie. Oh, Annie picked flowers? out those ones. Yes, those are very. They look like the flowers she picked out on the walk. So she thought Nana might like them as well. That's true. And Annie picked her first flowers. Oh, got, that's a pretty we got bouquet. Nana, Nana bouquet. That's a Nana bouquet. That's very, very sweet. And then the card that Annie Banani got Nana for her first grandmother's Mother's Day is right here. It says, Nana, you're the nicest. It has a cute little message, but then at the bottom it says, love you bunch. <laughs> Annie was with me when we picked out that card together. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, honey. Wow, look at my bouquet. You go from the Through nursery. The hallway. Yeah, she likes escaping. We have lots of confidence now, Mom. You... Mm -hmm. Tell me more. This weekend was so fun. We spent Mother's Day with Nana. And today is Mother's Day off. <laughs> yeah. But Jack and I took today off work because yesterday we came back from mom and dad's house, which is journey in itself. But Annie did so good. Jack stayed in the back with her and played with toys. And she did so good. And we cleaned and grocery shopped yesterday, so it was very busy. So now today is family time and relaxing and doing whatever we want to do. She's going to go down for a nappy in a little bit. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to spend that time doing a workout and showering. Nice. It's so fun, like, when she goes down for her naps during the week, it's like, get as much out and done and all this stuff, like, for work. But then on the weekend, to have that time, it's like, what do you want to do? It's like, so nice. And then when she wakes up, mama needs a new pair of shoes. Yeah, we gotta get a new So that's what we're gonna do. That sounds good. I keep striking out ordering, like, workout shoes online. Polkas are just too tight on my feet, and I really wanted to like them so bad. For Christmas, I got these really nice, what are they called, the cloud shoes or whatever. Yeah. And those also are, like, tight. I think my shoes, I, my feet shake. In pregnancy or something. You need to get like fitted. I need to actually go to a store and like my my size is just not cutting it So I need to go to a store and like try on shoes because right now when our we do our walks I wear my Crocs and they do the job. They're cushy. What a day. Uh, yeah okay. okay, one of our new wink window activities has been trying food and that has been so freaking fun. It's not fun when it's like clear she doesn't like something. It's like, how do we get her to like it? But at the end of the day, I don't like certain foods either. Mm -hmm. You know? Like I really wanted you to like peas. Because mama loves peas, but we're not a pea girl. I'm sure if you mix fruit and stuff into it, she would probably, no, we actually tried. Tried. <laughs> we tried mixing fruit in Because she was eating the fruit and then, we, yeah. <laughs> She's still <laughs> But I think that's been just like part of the fun of it. E eating the bowl. She doesn't quite understand that she can use her hands to like 
grab stuff yet. Like she looks at the bowl, she knows where it comes from and she loves her spoon. She loves eating off the spoon. And then she even will take food off the spoon and then put her hands in her mouth as a chaser <laughs> to suck down the food. And she'll even look and see the food in the bowl and without her hands. <sighs> try to eat it directly with her mouth. So that's been really fun. She really likes that. Baby oatmeal is a hit, especially mixed with peanut butter. I made a strawberry puree for her. So we have some of those frozen pods in the freezer that I'll heat up and put that in. So she loves that. Oh, she loves plain, whole fat, Greek yogurt oh. in general, but then especially mixed with things like peanut butter and fruits and stuff. At the beginning, she tried sweet potato. We know she loves sweet potato. And then the biggest thing is is she hasn't loved textured stuff, like actually consuming it. Like she'll like suck on an apple if we're having one or like kind of gnaw on a strawberry if we're having one. But this weekend, Nana mashed up some carrots, but it's really hard to get that into puree without like doing the whole blender thing and we were just mashing it. But the carrots were like very shreddy. Even when you were mashing them, they just had that texture. And I was like, I don't know if she's gonna like it. And she loved it and she was swallowing it. So watching her kind of getting used to textures and not completely rejecting them at first was also really fun. She had blueberries for the first time this weekend. What else? Carrots, blueberries. Oh, yeah. Carrots, blueberries. We already knew she liked eggs. Yep. So she's just like going down the whole but gamut. She didn't just have any eggs. She had Dingle Diner eggs. She had her first Dingle Diner. Yeah. You're right, that was a big deal. So we're still on the puree train, but just instinctively going with our gut on like textures and it's been really fun. Uh, yeah. You have a good time. You're my greatest joy, my baby. Oh my goodness. What? Sorry, bub. You're, you're old news. Apparently. Always shining right. People are smiling, making plans, hiding behind their shades, and you're doing the same. No rain, no flowers, nothing's growing where you're at. Heart is fire, but baby, I bet you're cold without me, even when it's 90 degrees. Without me, We are back from the shoe place and it was the coolest shoe place. I don't know if it is, I think it's a chain. I think it's called Fleet Feet. Maybe it's just in Maine. Oh no, it's <laughs> literally all over the United States. <laughs> okay, that makes sense. But they have this technology where you stand. I don't know if this is at other stores, but it was like all Fleet Feet branded where you stand on like a machine and it gets a complete read of your feet, your arch, the exact length and hence what size shoe and also the width and like it had like a rendering of my feet on the iPad by the end of it which was so freaking cool and also incredibly helpful because I have just struck out ordering shoes online but I wonder if pregnancy definitely changed my feet or something because all of a sudden the regular with shoes are just not doing it. So to be able to go and get the exact like measurements of your foot and like recommendations based off of that tech and like how, what they could see with it was just wild. We tried some Hoka wides and we went with the Cliftons. I was hoping that Hoka's could still work because they just look so fun and Jack really loves Hoka's and I know a lot of people love Hoka's. So I'm really pumped. I was an eight and a half wide. So not only was I not ordering the right width shoe, but I was ordering slightly smaller. Normally eights work perfectly, but again, something weird happened with my feet during pregnancy and I went up a size or half a size, I should say. Let me know if that ever happened with you guys or if you've heard of that happening because holy moly, it's like pregnancy does so much to your body during it. Obviously there's so much stuff shifting and moving around and things, but stuff that hangs on after, there's so much that I just 
did not know or expect. So I'm gonna order those. I think what I'm gonna do is go with this mermaid-esque shoe with the purple and the teal. I think going into summer, I'm gonna really like that combo. And then the other thing that I wanted to talk about while we are sitting here together is that I asked you guys on my Instagram what your all's favorite toys for your little ones either are at six months or if you've had little ones recently like what their favorite toys were at six months you guys came through with the recommendations and these are kind of the top things stacking cups stacking blocks or ring toys like stacking ring toys were recommended several times some sort of sit to stand walker and i know that just by experience the the more aesthetic we go with the walker, the least interested she's gonna be with it. So we have to go with the ugliest, most colorful walker that we can find if we get one of those. A water mat was recommended a few times and it looks really fun, but every water mat that I am coming across has a mix of bad reviews, whether having to do with the smell of the water mat, mold with the water mat, which makes sense, it's a water mat, or leaking with a water mat. So if you have a specific one, leave it down below if you really like the water mat. Pull string sensory toys, like pulling of strings of things through toys. Like there's this one that I'm looking at and I've seen this before. People really liking this one for their kids and their kids like loving it. Sh anything string like anything string like right now the strings that are loose on our cat tree any like cords that she can find around here she's just into the strings on sweatshirts if we're playing with her she's just like looking and pulling at the strings on the sweatshirt so string stuff the viral dancing crab which i think since she can crawl around now she would be really into that and a wooden activity cube and i have added all of these things onto my amazon store for you guys to check out I always try to leave that link down below. Also this Baby Einstein take along tunes musical toy. It has the Baby Einstein like piano at my parents house and we have the piano mat from Fisher Price like here and you can detach the piano and she likes that but just the take along one. I think she would really like that but I think I'm gonna narrow down and pick a couple of these things that people seem to enjoy and make a little Amazon order. If there's anything else that I haven't said that your baby around the six months and older really likes leave it down below because i'm so curious about it like look at this baby with their little string toy this is annie with all the strings she can find around the house but having an actual toy that is made for this would be so perfect but anyways, my friends, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did and you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, make sure to do so down below because I upload videos like these every single week. My Instagram is also linked down below in case you want to stay up to date with real-time updates. I love you all so, so, so much, and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. We'll see you later. Bye!